medium. I'd love to know what all the parents out there think of this next topic. So a writer for Scary Mommy wants to know if she should tattle on her kids' friends. <laughs> she says her kids have shown her what their friends are doing on things like Snapchat and TikTok. And some of it, it's not sitting right with her. So should she go to their parents and say, hey, do you know what your kid's doing on social media? No? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the reaction. Really? Look at the reaction. Well, I'm, this is interesting. I'm about to upset the front row because yes. <laughs> yes. three words, rat them out. <laughs> I was raised in like, it takes a village to raise a child. So I knew that if my mother and father weren't there, it didn't matter because everybody yeah, who was around yeah. me was also kind of my stepping in in my parents' shoes. So did that keeping keep you an in eye. check? It kept, yeah. Of course it kept me in check, but it also felt really good because then you also felt protected yeah. because everybody was looking out for you and it didn't matter that they weren't blood related. Your child is my child when you're out of the room. So if I see something happening, why would I ever say, oh, Blaze is in trouble, but that's not my problem. That's that's not my child. That's crazy talk to me. Yeah. I don't understand it. So I feel like this is what I would do. I don't have a child, but I have done this to children in my family and they know this. <laughs> oh I'm on all their social medias. Oh I gosh. see what they're doing. I see the comments. I'm on your snap. I'm on your Insta. I'm on, your, I'm on all the things. And what I do, because sometimes kids don't understand the things that they do and the ramifications of it. They yeah. think they're grown. They think they can handle it, but they can't. And we know that. So if I see them doing something bad, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you. I'll be like, Marcy, listen, I just saw Blaze uh, doing a little no, something. No, you didn't. Yeah, listen, <laughs> no, you didn't. No, this is pretend. This is pretend, right? No, and what I want you to do is don't tell her what I said because we got to keep this intel going. She can't know that I told you. This because, is a whole operation. Because I... <laughs> Right? Because I'm the number one snitch, but in order for us to keep doing this and yeah. you to know what your child is doing, you and I need to have this communication. But, 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 so I'm gonna tell but, you what she did, and then you're gonna go to her and pretend you just heard it from a birdie up in the sky. <laughs> and then you get to know what your child is doing, and therefore your child is protected. And I, you don't like it, that's too bad. I'm snitching on your kid, I'm snitching on your kid. Okay. Here's what, listen. I so appreciate you because it's true. It does take a village, okay? But here's the relationship. Blaze 18-11, mm -hmm. Okay. right? I like to think, and hopefully I'm not being naive, mm -hmm. that my kids come to me, right? And yep. they talk to me and it's an open relationship. And so here's the thing. Yeah. I empower them because they see a friend mm -hmm. posting something on Snap or Insta that's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. I want them to go to their friend. I yeah. want oh. them to go to their friend and say, hey, are you okay? Because yeah. I saw this yeah. and it's maybe not right or have you thought about this? And, I, and I'm serious about that. They're cutting out the middleman. They're, they're cutting out the parents. They're cutting, which is great. Like, the, right? So it's kind of like, because I want that relationship You want them to build intact, that character. Yeah. Right? I, and I also know that I'm not always going to be there for them. Yeah. So they better be able to stand. They better be able to understand what it means to be a loyal friend yeah. and to take care as you mentioned. Take care right? of people. Of people, they better know how to do that. And yep. so it's, you know what, go handle it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and listen, I'm not talking about extenuating circumstances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If a child is being hurt. Mm -hmm. Yes. If yeah. somebody, danger. right, yeah. is in danger. Something that is different. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. right? Like yeah. you, you yeah. are getting a call, you yeah. are getting me showing up at your door. Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> That's what you're getting. Can I throw in right? a little wrench? Because yeah. I agree with everything you're saying. I love the idea of empowering because you are not going to always be there. Mm -hmm. But can I throw in a little wrench? Throw it Go in. for it. By definition, isn't being a teenager the ability to like screw up? Yeah. Yes. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, that, and I, and I do wrong. say like the whole definition of being a teenager, because by definition, there's a part where you're not going to be with mom or dad anymore. And you got to learn. Mm. And the way that you learn, because newsflash, none of us are born perfect. Yeah. You gotta make mistakes. You gotta fall on your face. Hopefully it's doing nothing illegal. However, okay. the point is when you're trying to figure out who you are on your own without a parent around mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. sometimes you're gonna trip and fall. And if every time you're tripping and falling, someone's calling mom and dad, I don't That's know how wait, that, wait what that it. means. Wait, wait for it, no. wait for it, okay. <laughs> I find out Marquesa's 15. Oh, you're bringing my daughter in right? this now. Okay. Because I got to make it real. Okay. And I find out yeah. my daughter, yeah. my imaginary daughter, that she is seeing a boy who's 15 years older than her. It's not illegal. Well, it is actually Maybe. illegal. Maybe. <laughs> Depending where you are. 
but she's not gonna die. It's not like it's not like it's you know something that's an emergency, but it's definitely something that that's I know, emergency. right? That's something I that I know emergency. that you would want Can to I know. Can I tell you what I would do? Do I let her make that mistake, or do you want me to come to you and go? Great heads scenario. Up. Thank you for bringing that to me. The first thing I'm going to do mm. is go. I have done something. I have messed up somewhere. Oh, I and, know. No, no, messed and up. I don't mean it like, oh my gosh, I'm a terrible parent. It's gonna be, I'm gonna grab my entire family and we're gonna go straight to therapy. Not because I think therapy should be for a crisis situation. Yeah. Cri I think therapy is are good. Are you gonna wait, are you gonna make a pit stop at the man's house first though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Before you go to we're therapy. Gonna, we're gonna figure yeah. that out. Let's just knock on the yeah. door and be like, excuse <laughs> Maybe me, sir. So. <laughs> just wanted to do a little delivery. Yeah. That's right. But I would say that that, to me, because that sounds like, you know, I bet you there's a parent watching us that might be going through that exact same thing. Mm. But I would be looking at that and saying, something has fallen apart and it's not my child, primarily. I would say that that's a family issue. But you want me to tell case. you, though. But tell me. <laughs> hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like, and subscribe.